Hello everyone, in this short video, I'm going to show how to upload a text file from your local machine to Databricks uh, cluster. And here I assume you already have your cluster created. So uh, let's check. So in this stage, I do have um, a cluster running. And um, once a cluster is running, you can actually upload data into that specific cluster. To upload the data, you can click on the data icon on the left. It's going to show you um, for this active cluster, there's only one database, which is default. And then there's no tables. There's no data at all. It's a brand new cluster. So to create a table in the default database, what you can do is to click the plus sign uh, in the table column. And then uh, um, it's, it's going to ask what class you want to put your um, data, where the data source is actually from file. And um, here we can actually uh, select the files that we would like to update. Let's use the division, for example, which is described in the um, uh, in the document. So uh, the file is a CSV file. We can preview the table. And uh, for a CSV file, it's going to be automatically determine what, what is the delimiter. So I just need to put in the name uh, of the table. And then I'm going to name my table as um, divisions and it is a csv file and then uh, also the first row is the header i do actually have my header as the first row also uh, you can define you can actually change your uh, column name as well as the data tabs and this particular one both columns are all string and the column name are okay. They are actually extracted from my first row of the file. So this is basically um, how you then, at, at last you need to click the create table um, button. So um, then your table is created. Um, so similarly, I can create another table that is used in the book uh, for SQL basic. So we repeat. We choose the other table. The file is a uh, matrix. And then we give a name for that table. And also my first row is the header. And then uh, I do have the population and income as real number instead of string. So we can change the um, I can change the type for each columns um, in the table creation uh, stage. Then click create table. So now the matrix table is also created. Please keep in mind, we created two tables and uh, they can be used as data frame in your uh, R or Python notebook. They are all, uh, all those two tables I already created to across um, different uh, nodes that is available. So it is basically a Spark object. It's already it is already distributed across different kind of machine, and we can actually apply Spark's parallel computing power to uh, uh, to leverage the parallel uh, data processing system. Now let's click the data icon again. We can see now there are two tables within the default database. Now let's run a few basic SQL, um, SQL command as de described uh, in, the, in the book. So here I already created a very simple, um, very simple um, notebook. In this particular notebook, it is when you create it, uh, you can assign the type as a SQL notebook. So when you run SQL code, you do not need to put in any um, identifier. So for example, I have the show database statement. 
it is going to show which database uh, in the system. And now there's only one, which is called default. So now let's use default as our current database and see how many tables in the default database using the show tables command. We can see it shows for the default database there are two tables and then one is called divisions and the other called metrics. If I want to know some basic information about division, uh, let's run uh, this command. So describe divisions, it shows for the division table there are two columns, state and division and both of them are actually strings. And then the next step is basically let's look at the first the ten. Um, let's look at the first ten uh, records in the division table by using this very simple um, command. Uh, here I need to know uh, it's a limit ten in um, Databricks. Basically, we can return the first ten rows by adding limit 10 to show the uh, first 10 rows. As we described in the, uh, in the book, um, for different kind of database management system, there are slightly different ways uh, for, for this feature. And you can use, if for other database, you may have to use select top 10 star from division to see the first 10 rows. Okay, uh, that is all the introduction of how to upload data into uh, Spark tables. See you next time.